attract black men when I look like this. I'm gonna be so for real, I don't. Let me tell you why you should never take a man seriously when he says he likes a natural woman. I'm glad you're watching Amazing Viewer. This is another TikTok video that draws a lot of concern on TikTok and I said why not bring it here so that we can educate ourselves. After this lady posted this video on TikTok there are a bunch of men, women also who are reacted to the same so I find it so interesting that why I brought it here as we had already uh, started speaking of natural hair helping black women to boost their confidence wearing their natural hair but it's so surprising to see that even men aren't making it easier for them why is that, that you, you don't check on them when they're wearing their natural hair why is that, that they have to attract a uh, men that really are uh, uh, aren't black whenever they're wearing their natural hair when i posted this video on this channel there were a bunch of men in my comment section was saying oh no uh you are queens we love you when you're wearing natural hair but why don't you check on them and also ladies who said whenever i'm wearing my natural hair i attract men who have nothing to lose they're not my level that reminded me of an expression that says dress as you'd love to be addressed so black women prefer wearing their wigs that are expensive because they want to raise their standard and attract the kind of men that they want around them so hmm, could that be the reason i'm just speculating uh what are your thoughts on this let's listen to the few stitches that I put across and let this guys. I don't attract black men when I look like this. I'm gonna be so for real, I don't. Now I know a lot of people have already stitched this video, but here we go again, yet another opinion on it. Just wanna put in my two cents. So I agree with her that uh, texturism is absolutely a thing with black people, un unfortunately. But let's just not act like it's black men who are pushing the whole texturism thing. Based on what I hear on TikTok and in real life, when you question a sister about, okay, if you're wearing a wig or, or weave or why do you get the kind of hair you get? They say they get it because that's the kind of hair they want. They choose that hair that is not like their natural hair. That's the hair they value and go. And they don't say they do it to attract men. They don't say they do it because men like it. But I know if you are a brother with what ghetto people refer to as good hair, black women will check for you like nobody's business. So the texturism thing is real, but it's not like it's black men who are really the hardcore texturist people amongst black people. With that being said, I'll just say objectively, uh, this young woman is, is pretty beautiful and I, I, I'm not trying to invalidate her experience. But I do find it a little hard to believe that black men in general don't come check for her simply because she wears her hair naturally. She might experience that certain types of brothers do not check for her when she wears her hair naturally. And I, I, could, I could say, you know what, I've kind of seen that too. And I'm talking about not, you know, regular black men. I'm talking about, you know. Pookie and Ray Ray and them. They definitely, definitely, I see a lot of texturism with the men I know and the, unfortunately, the friends I have who are like that. And we have endless arguments about how that is destructive and wrong. And for some reason, they can't see. But I know a professional black man, a black man who is strong in his identity and strong in his sense of self. You know, guys like me and, and guys like my other friends who I, I strongly identify with. I don't see us feeling that way about natural hair. In fact, we 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 like it, um, and most black men I know tend to like it. And uh, living in the Bay Area, especially um, a, a woman of your quality of looks with your hair like that, would definitely get checked for. I, I'm just saying. Maybe the eye eyelashes are a bit much, but that's just my my thing. But in general, you're beautiful. Your hair is beautiful. I don't know why you experience it that. Maybe try to stay away from them ghetto dudes and. Um, that's all I'm saying. As a black woman, it's really crazy noticing the different types of men you attract when you have different hairstyles in your head. And I don't know if it's just me, but when a man only shows attraction in like wigs and straight hair and not my braids and my locks, it's an immediate no, immediate turn off. I don't like it, but I don't know if that's just me being extra. Today was a really good day, so I don't know if this had anything to do with it. Just having like overall just more positive like energy, I guess. I don't know, but hear me out, please. 
When the girls say that your hair attracts a different crowd, I precisely know exactly what that means now. Like, I was like, okay, like, I don't really uh, see it, but like today just kind of gratified exactly what I what they were saying today I literally was like yeah I'm just gonna wear my hair out I'm not gonna put my hair up my hair is gonna do what the f it's going to do and it looks good to me so I don't care what anyone else to say so yeah and I had like great energy like I was pumped up like it was a good day today went to the gym got some stuff done like it was just a good day please tell me why <laughs> all of the non-black men were just like kind of just gravitating toward your girl today i never look me i don't notice nobody like i don't i don't i'm focusing on me like when i'm doing something i'm just doing my own thing i'm not i'm my own world type you know but i just kind of notice because every time i'm looking they're just looking right at me like it's not even like oh like you're doing something wrong or oh in disgust it's just like just a, a smirk like it's just i noticed that today and like some of them would like come around me when i'm like moving places i didn't think like oh like they're following me. like I, I wasn't trying to you know what i'm saying i'm just doing my own thing they're just like i really like your hair like your hair looks really nice oh you have a really pretty smile and i'm like what what girl girl look and it wasn't you know it was the t it was like the taller um hispanic guys they were younger um around my age a little bit whatever and it was just like the other like white spicy white boys i don't know what they are but like, they're not black right and it's like i always like they're just always opening the doors for me courtesy right chivalry and some older black guys do do this but just this one um younger um black boy pan second down stuff like that just lets the door hit me on my way out damn near like okay i wasn't expecting it but it's like yeah nah <laughs> So I know what you girls, I know what y'all are talking about. Like that shit was crazy. It was crazy to me. Cause I'm like, no, they're not looking at me. Like every time, like they're not looking at me. But when we're making, every time we're looking in each other's eyes, like it's just like admiring. It's just, it was just crazy. It was a weird, it was a different experience. I don't so lately I've been rocking my natural hair, feeling good, looking good. I'm loving it. But there's something I noticed lately. And the thing I've noticed is that I'm attracting different type of men. And to be fair, first I thought, hmm, this is a positive thing, but the kind of man I'm attracting, no, that's not positive. Because it's apparently guys that have nothing to lose. Because the audacity, because they are not on my level. And it's like, but man, did you really think you could bag this? They're bums. They're bums. I'm just, that's it. And they're probably like, I have nothing to lose, so let me just go for it. The audacity of that one. And I get it, do what you gotta do, but like... It's making me doubt myself. I'm like, do I look good and all of that? And then I'm like, no, I look good. But yeah, let me know if you have this too, because I'm wondering. I really like to know for real. When black men say they like natural hair, they're not just saying natural hair as in af. Yeah, what black men say they like and what they actually like are two totally different things. Yeah, they might say they like black women in their natural state, but they're still scrolling on Instagram, checking out those women with the BBLs, long claws, and 30-inch weave. So answer this question. Who has the most DMs? The black women in their natural state or the Nicki Minaj wannabes? And another thing. When black men say they like natural hair, they're talking about liking certain curl patterns. They like looser textured hair, for the most part, rather than kinky, curly textured hair. You can tell what black men like based on what they give the most attention. Let me tell you why you should never take a man seriously when he says he likes a natural woman. Men say this all the time with me because I have a natural look, meaning I wear my hair curly in some form, whether it's my hair or not. And I usually don't wear that much makeup on a daily basis unless I'm going to an event like tonight. I do put a decent amount of makeup on usually. It just doesn't look like I have that much on. Now I just got on Hinge and I had a guy that liked me and I was like, yeah, he's mildly attractive. So I went to look at his profile. Now, 
Now, this is what I saw. This is the first answer on his profile. I'm weirdly attracted to. Not weird, but everything natural. Real hair, nails, body, face, lashes, pounds. What does that mean? I'm not against enhancing your beauty. I just prefer the minimum. I just want to like what I see when I wake up next to you, even if I don't, even if you don't like you. Let's look at the photo that he chose to like on my profile. That's a wig. Uh, I have a full face of makeup on because I'm going to an event. I have heavy lashes on. I have fake nails on. You're not gonna look, I'm not gonna look like that when I wake up in the morning, sir. Now the gag is, I have other photos on my profile where I look more natural, much more natural. Take this one for example, natural hair, hardly any makeup in this photo. I think I literally don't even have foundation on here. I think I just dabbed on some blush and filled in my eyebrows and maybe have a little mascara, that's it. He didn't like this one. Uh, same with this video here down at the bottom. I'm at the beach, I don't have any makeup on, I'm just doing a workout. He didn't like either of those. He chose to like this one, which is everything that he just said that he hates. So yeah, men literally can't tell what's real and what's fake. I think unless you're walking around looking like a blow up Barbie doll, like they have no idea. And I just roll my eyes whenever they say that. I have to go out. I don't attract black men when I look like this. I'll be- Most men do not routinely approach women. Now it could be that they don't like your natural hair. It could be colorism. It could be a few different things. But in a culture where men are almost exclusively the pursuer, I think women would benefit a lot from opening up a dialogue with men. It doesn't have to be online. I prefer it not be online. Turn the cameras off and just find somewhere to sit down with one or two men that you know and talk to them about that mindset. Because I'll put my love for black women and my attraction to black women up against anyone. I consider myself a confident guy. I consider myself an attractive guy. And even approaching the women that I find the most attractive is not something that I routinely do. I think there's so little understanding from the other side as that for men, it's not as simple as attraction pursuit. It's a timing thing. You do have to get lucky in these instances because you never know what a man attracted to you is thinking or what he's going through. So a man who didn't approach you on a Thursday might have approached you in that same situation on a Saturday when his head was in a different space. This is the type of stuff that you'll learn if you open up that dialogue. I hear about a lot of guys telling girls that they like girls natural to not dress up, not do your lashes, all that stuff. That's all good. But number one, you shouldn't listen to what a man's preference is. If he met you the way you are, he should like you the way you are. And number two, they don't know what natural is. Their deception or perception of natural is a deception. Their nat the form of natural is what I am like right now. And that is very much not natural. I don't have any surgery, but it's makeup, it's eyelashes, it's stuff. So you do you, they're just trying to make you a little gray mouse when we all know that you are a of paradise baby keep being that because that's what he liked in the first place don't let him trick you this lady has brought in a very important aspect that i want to emphasize on i've done to overlook all the things that have been said uh keep leaving your thoughts in the comment section but for me i want to pick it from here it is important for you to be who you want to be and how you want to carry yourself is that that's what you should be so if a man start imposing to you what you should do how you should look what to do and yeah, i really don't mean that you should not respect the opinion on on you or sometimes it's also important to ask yourself do i really like this is this what i would want to be seen is this will this make me happy you know women are uh, tied with our things that has to do with self-esteem you know when you look in a certain way that is not appealing to you as yourself as a human being are uh, you would not uh, have that confidence to even go out there so uh, depriving somebody of who they are uh, is something that is so wrong and i would i would just uh, echo the word uh, of this lady that says let somebody loves you for who you are i struggled with that uh, in my earlier stages in marriage when i was just like for one year in marriage i was like okay uh, let me do like don't do this i stop don't do this even though i don't really agree but in the long run it was affecting me and at some point i would look in the mirror and i would be like i'm ugly i don't love myself until when i had to yeah recapture my Yourself. you know you have to find yourself and and i had to i had to to find myself and do the things that please me uh for me to find that uh self-worth and even the self-confidence you know yeah that's what i would say if somebody loves you let them love you for who you are and respect your decision especially when it comes to you and how you look so let them respect uh your decision because it's about you 
as much as you are one but you are an individual being you are uh, you have your sentiment you have uh yeah the way you view the world that is different from them that was my thought on this and uh, don't forget to leave your thought kindly uh, subscribe to the channel don't forget to like the video for information comments kindly i love interacting and goodbye for now appreciate